Hi, I'm Jake Clear, VP of Sales at New Benefits. As we talk about the pitfalls of utilization as it pertains to telemedicine with your groups, maybe the pitfalls of employees not using it enough or being aware that it's there or engaging in it, I always hear the feedback that, well, there's a page in the open enrollment booklet that tells them about it, or I mention it after we go through the medical plans. What you know is that employees have tuned out well into the first plan information and they're trying to figure out what is my family's cost gonna be? What are my financial responsibilities to this plan? They're confused by this pharmacy option to this pharmacy option. And then at the end you mention, oh, by the way, there's virtual visits. It's not enough. We have to make the story relatable. Uh, a wise man that I listened to once said, stories sell and facts tell. And while I'm not trying to sell anyone on telemedicine, we are trying to engage the employees in being able to use a service that is going to benefit them and their families. So make it relatable. I prefer a story called The Duck in Harlem. It's a story that happened to me back in 2012. Uh, I was visiting my brother-in-law who was an aspiring actor and he was in a theater show in off, off, off Broadway in Harlem. And prior to going to the show, we wanted to stop and have some food and maybe a couple of drinks before we went and sat through this show. And sure enough, we were invited to go to a French bistro maybe two blocks away from the theater. Well, we went to the French Bistro and I ordered the lamb and the chef suggested the duck. The chef suggested the, the duck because it had gone bad in his refrigerator. He didn't want to eat the cost, so he let me eat it and there was definitely a cost. Later that night, got back to the hotel, had the worst food poisoning in a pint-sized bathroom in downtown Manhattan. I started Googling urgent cares and realized that it's Saturday morning at 2 a.m. and the next urgent care opened at 9 a.m. in the morning on Monday. I called down to the front desk and asked, do you have an on-call doctor? They said, yes, it's $900 cash or check. I said, I don't have $900, I'm staying at your hotel. My wife said, hey, use telemedicine. And I said, no, there's no way that telemedicine will work. It's a you know, sinus infection, pink eye. Well, I have food poisoning. What, am I gonna, what are they gonna do? So still at 3 a.m. I made the call. And uh, sure enough, about 15 minutes later, I received a phone call back from a doctor who was on call in Amarillo, Texas. She laughed at my story, laughed at me for having the duck in Harlem, and from there wrote an anti-nausea drug to the Dwayne Reed Pharmacy underneath our hotel. My wife was able to pick up the script at 8 a.m. It was the first time I was able to keep a sip of water down. Probably saved me a $4,000 deductible trip to the emergency room in Manhattan, and who knows what I would have been triaged behind. Certainly kept that $900 out of pocket from the in-house doctor uh, from leaving my back wallet or my wallet. And uh, it was just a great opportunity for me to use telemedicine. It cost me zero dollars because my employer paid for it. Now that's the relatable story that you want to create for your clients, for the employees. Let them see it in their eyes. Come up with your own duck in Harlem story. And certainly if you haven't used telemedicine yourself yet, use it, try it, build your own stories. From there, you build your own passion and passion is going to build relatability, whether it's fixing your ch kid's pink eye, solving your sinus infection while you're on vacation, whatever it may be, please tell your story. Please help your employers engage their employees in this service. Have a great day.